Hey everyone, paying a proper tribute to the late Nelson Mandela was not meant to be difficult. All you have to do is look at his legacy. Nobel Prize winner, ended apartheid, and Dick Cheney thought he was a terrorist. The problem comes when you try to spin his life story to fit your personal agenda. Example, Nelson Mandela spent 27 years waiting to be released from prison. Just like Cub fans have been waiting 105 years for a World Series. We're like four Mandelas. At that point, you're just pulling stuff out of your ass. Speaking of things that come out of your ass, Rick Santorum. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you don't get that joke, do not Google it. Santorum claimed he is fighting a similar battle to Mandela. Okay, rule number one. You cannot claim to be like Nelson Mandela if you are wearing a sweater vest. Santorum said that, like Mandela, quote, he is fighting the ever-increasing size of government, and Obamacare ooh, is at the front and center of that. Oh yeah, Obamacare and South Africa? Totally comparable. If there's one thing a president who's half black and half white loves, it's apartheid. How would that even work? I'm sorry, Mr. President. Obamacare only covers exams of your left testicle. Look, apartheid stripped every black person of the right to vote. So Obama had a grand plan to dominate America by turning every state into Utah? Sorry, Carl Malone. And then it got worse. Rush Limbaugh decided to weigh in. Which, at his size, let's face it, it's impossible not to. Limbaugh used Mandela to criticize the American civil rights movement, saying, quote, You realize when he was inaugurated president, he invited his white jailers from the Robben Island prison. And Mandela never invited him anywhere, which can mean only one thing. Rush Limbaugh is worse than a South African jailer. Hell, compared to Rush, a South African jail looks drug-free. And then Rush spewed this out of his Vicodin hole. Nelson Mandela would not qualify as a civil rights leader in this country with that philosophy. They can't let it go. Yeah. After centuries of slavery, the KKK, voter suppression, and Paula Deen, you know who's qualified to tell civil rights leaders to let it go? Fat white millionaires. Ebony, ivory, in you know, I think Nelson Mandela really did leave South Africa a better place because Rick Santorum and Rush Limbaugh are on the opposite hemisphere. Oh, oh.